should you keep the CPC connected during installation resistance testing? Well, if you're carrying out an electrical installation certificate, it might be that the cables are disconnected and you want to test them prior to them being connected into the consumer unit. But don't. Disconnected conductors can yield misleading results, compromising the accuracy of the test. Failing to address this can lead to assumptions of acceptable insulation levels when in reality, the connections may mask underlying issues. So what does that mean in reality? When testing, we need to subject the installation to the worst case scenario. This means having all the CPCs connected together and connected to the earthing conductor and any equipotential bonding conductors in the installation. It may sound odd, but we're trying to make it fail, meaning if it passes, we know it has passed beyond our satisfaction. But don't take my word for it. Look what Guidance Note 3 says. As a reminder, prior to carrying out the test, the inspector should check that the protective conductor of the item, switch gear or cable, etc., is connected to the MET, which must be connected to the means of earthing. Well, it can't get clearer than that.